Hello and thank you for watching my video. My name is Astrid Krasnici. I'm CCNA and CCMP certified instructor. On this video, we are covering CCNA semester four, routing and switching connecting networks. This is chapter six and section 6.3, configuring XDSL. Upon completion of this section, you should be able to configure and verify a basic point-to-point -point protocol, PPP, over ethernet connection on the client router point-to-point -point protocol over ethernet motivation now isp they do use ppp over ethernet because they they want to use ppp point-to-point -point protocol because point-to-point -point protocol it does provide something like a, a for example authentication quality monitoring bundling and lots of good stuff in layer two now at the customers the customer uh, router and uh, for example devices inside the customer's office in, inside the customer uh, premises they're not going to be using ppp they're going to use ethernet so that's why the isps they want to use this protocol point to point over ethernet so ppp supports the assignments of ip addresses information to device at the remote end of the point to point protocol link more importantly, like I said, point-to-point -point protocol supports CHAP or Challenge Handshake Authentication Protocol. ISPs can check accounting records to see if a customer's bill has been paid before letting them connect to the internet. Now, to configure the client side point-to-point -point over ethernet, first you need to configure an interface, like a virtual interface called interface dialer. And all the configuration you do that under that interface, in dialer interface. Then, you bind that dialer interface or your physical interface to that dialer interface so what i'm going to do here because this is not very easy to understand so what i'm going to do i'm going to open a, a notepad and i'm just going to show you the, uh, what you need to configure on the on a customer router for example first thing you need to do is you need to create a virtual interface so call dialer one for example and then say on that you're going to say okay well mtu is going to be 1492 so we need to decrease the mtu because we're going to need some extra headers like ppp over ethernet header then ip address ip address we're going to, it's going to be negotiated then encapsulation it's going to be ppp ppp I'm not going to paste any of these commands. I'm just writing the command so you know, uh, like very briefly, how to configure PPP or E on the customer side. Because there's another configuration that's going to be on the on the ISP. So you don't really need to know that for that. Okay, so this is going to be uh, dialer pool one, and we're going to put the authentication PPP authentication chap call in, and then we're going to do the PPP. Uh, sorry, not too many P's. Chap, uh, hostname, customer for example one, and PPP, Chap, password, Cisco, Cisco PPP OE as our password. So as far as the PPP uh, dialer interface or the virtual interface is configured, now we have to go to the physical interface. For example, interface uh, G01, and say PPP OE enable. So we enable point to point protocol over ethernet ppp oe client dial pool number uh, number one so we bind into this dialer and one last command that we need to configure is the static route so ip route uh, any route any network with any mask uh, is going to access dialer one and after we do the no shutdown on the on the uh, physical interface if we do not shut down here we should get an ip address automatically from the internet service provider okay this is very very few slides on on ppp uh, on this uh, last section 6.3 configure next dsl but for the exam purposes you only need to know very very briefly on how to configure the customer uh, router as a ppp all this configuration that you can see it on the screen here all this uh, here is under the dialer so all this stuff is the dialer configuration so mtu dialer pool one encapsulation ppp ip address negotiated and so on and then on the physical interface we'll do just this 
config. Okay. And we have to do PPP enable as well. PPP OE enable. Okay, thank you very much for watching this section as well. Please have a look at the other videos. And don't forget to subscribe. This has been Astrid Krasnici. Bye-bye.